Welcome back, my lovely family members. Thank you so much for joining me today, for watching this video. Thank you for coming along with me on this Canada journey. So I am about three months old in Canada, and let me just say that I have some lessons that I would like to share with you. So in case you're looking at relocating, even if you're in Canada, you might even know someone that is planning to come, and you can even use these lessons as well, even if you're in any other part of the world, like basically, if you stay outside your home country. So I'm going to be giving you about 10 lessons or basically things I have learned about in Canada. First thing is Canada is a huge country. Very, very big. Like I can be thinking of I'm just going to use 10 minutes to go from this place to this place. The next minute we're on the highway. Like any small thing we're on the highway. I'll be like, oh my goodness. In my head, it was messing up with me when I first arrived Canada. Like any small thing, I am already seeing forest. Like any small thing, I'm already seeing highway. Is this how it is over here? I was prepared for it. Like I have stayed in America for a while, but the landmass in Canada is nothing even compared to like America or something. It is huge. So be prepared for that. Like within your locality, you can be going for like minutes and all that. Now to talk of like when you're going outside or something. So be prepared for that. And let me just let you know that driving is no luxury in Canada. Most times you might need to drive to get from point A to point B. But luckily, the transportation system is not too bad. It will help you to get around in the front, like when you first land and all that. So it's perfectly okay. You'll get by. You'll be fine. Just the way I've also been fine. So the second thing I want to say is... Most people, when they just think of Canada, they just think that it is one very, like, very hot or, sorry, cold country, rather. Canada can be very, very hot as well. I used to live in Lagos, Nigeria, and we used to think that Lagos or Nigeria was very humid and always very hot. Trust me, guys. <laughs> Oh my goodness, the heat in this Canada, whenever it is summer, oh my God, I don't even want to know. If you don't have AC, you almost cannot like survive in cold. It is very hot. So don't just think that it's just all cold in Canada all through the year. When it is cold, it is cold, very, very cold. And when it is also hot, it's also very, very hot, like hot, hot, hot. They are 27 degrees or they are... 25 degrees is like what is like almost 40 degrees in Lagos or in Africa or something. So it's very warm. So don't be depressed thinking that all through the year is going to be cold. It does get warm. So you prepare yourself accordingly. The third thing I would like to mention is in Canada, I know it can be very daunting when you're coming into a new country. You want to get a job. You're trying to get a job. But guys, I know things have changed in recent times. Everybody that I meet says the same thing. I've spoken to quite a number of Uber drivers that I have like reading with in the past and all that and they all tell me that canada has not been what it is what it used to be in the past years so if you're someone that probably you are doing a very good business in your home country you can start a business don't wait for a job don't wait for a perfect job i understand the first few months can be kind of like daunting like shaky steps and all that but if you can most people will even tell you to start your business. Starting a business here is not difficult at all. You can even do it at the comfort of your home with your computer. Just pay for your incorporation and all that. Follow the steps and you will get it. Do you understand? So don't bother if you're not getting that perfect job you want. You can start something on your own and you build it up from there. Another thing I want to let us know is that Canada is a purely credit society. Many of us back home, we are not used to credits. The first thing that when you get to Canada, you open your bank account, they most likely will give you a credit card. And that is one of the ways you can show that you are credit worthy. So basically, you have your credit card. It's like the bank is giving you money in advance and you pay the money later on. The most important part is that you don't default on your payments because this is a credit worthy society. You can almost 
almost not survive without having a good credit score or without that credit so just build your credit make sure you pay it back on time and you'll be totally fine this abuse or what we used to have at the back of our minds that oh i don't want to loan i don't want to borrow i don't want to do this in this society it's almost impossible it's not i'm not saying it's not it's not possible of course a lot of people have money and all that you might have money for to buy your house right away and all that to buy your car and all that for sometimes this is like a society where you might need to use credit at one point or the other so it's just nice for you to build your credit basically in the past people used to feel like anybody traveling abroad will suffer like you will suffer 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 there is help oh there is help in canada there is like you can get all that if you want a nanny you can get a nanny if you want someone to clean your house you can get it it's not like it's almost impossible the way we used to believe that oh, once you move abroad you don't have all that basically it might be difficult in the beginning to start spending on to start spending on things like that but after you after some time you find your feet and because anybody did not come to this life to come and suffer you can you can decide to outsource some things you can decide to outsource your cooking you can decide to outsource your cleaning you can decide to outsource people taking care of your kids and all that it's not that bad it's not like the way people make you feel like oh once you come you do everything yourself it's not cheap definitely but it's not like as if you can't afford it let's say for instance you start earning like at least 4k to 5k in a month it's not difficult for you to bring out like 100 to 200 dollars for you to have someone help to clean your home do you get because these are the kind of things that can help you to rest and all that you can't just be work 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 all the time these things are available so don't just think that oh, once i cross over or i'm moving outside the country i'll be doing everything myself yes there's a lot of diy but you can definitely outsource it's not cheap, but you can still outsource. Everything depends on how much you have in your bank account. So basically, just pray. By God's grace, everybody is praying for a lot of money. And if you have that, why not? If not, you can outsource. Guys, be watchful. Check your back, okay? There is calm. Just because people believe that Canada is a very good place, or oh, this place is like this and all that, people have taken advantage of that and they scam people. I have heard people that they got scammed trying to get jobs. I have heard a lot of things. People can scam. There's a lot of scam that goes on, okay? So you have to be very, very watchful. On that thing is, when you're coming into Canada as a new immigrant, just put your ears on the ground. There are like lots of information out there that can help you to settle in as a new immigrant. So people can help you. Basically, you might not be any the kind of money that will help you to live that basic life yet so there are lots of like facilities that can help you you can get subsidy for different things even if you're a student you can get subsidy for your hydro like electricity bills you can get subsidy for even daycare like you won't pay anything so don't just suffer in silence like ask around like what is available for me what can i get what are the perks and all that it doesn't even have to be like your yeah, APR or anything even as a student and all that just ask basic questions on how you can get by there are lots of support services that can help you that will help you to set you on the right path and all that okay guys in this canada you have to be watchful a lot of people have good stories bad stories choose the one you want to follow like whatever you feed your mind on that's what i basically believe you might eventually get some people say oh it's not diff it's not easy it's not it's like it's not rosy and all that, but it just depends on you. The same way some people are complaining is the same way some people are having it all good. Like I've heard people that are here and they will tell me that within two weeks of them landing, they got good jobs. Some people, it might take them six months. So just choose whatever you want. That's my personal mantra. Don't allow anybody to dissuade you. Don't allow anybody to throw you off track. It's never easy anywhere, to be honest. So you just have to choose the one that applies to you. Guys, before I round up, Canada, from the eyes of many people, they are saying that Canada has not been what it used to be. It has really changed. And it's not just like um, 
pertaining to Canada alone. This is like a global thing, I believe. Even people in the UK are complaining. People in Nigeria are complaining. So don't just come and believe that things are just going to be rosy. I'm not saying it's not going to be rosy for you, but basically understand that there is inflation everywhere. Like houses of like 300k, like we get in like three, four years ago, now sells for like 800, 1 million. And like guys, a lot of people are having it like almost bad so just understand that this is not just peculiar to maybe canada alone is a global thing hopefully we can navigate the system together we can navigate whatever it is just have the right information rent is not cheap you might need to save up for your rent you might need to have a lot of money for that in that case you might need to compromise on some other things probably if you're the kind of person that you would like to like buy new clothes every month this might not be the time to do all that until when you're well settled so at this point on a normal day like most people tell me that oh canada is not like how it used to be before three years ago it was really really nice and all that everybody is complaining but it's not just peculiar to canada it's a global thing and hopefully we get through this stage and things get better last but not the least i know many people are very scared of traveling abroad and probably there are some things you're worried about culturally you don't like some things that you're hearing about especially if you have kids i don't want to use all my mouth to say it and all that but guys know that you're not alone if someone is like yeah a lot of people that are like you like have certain beliefs and do not believe in some particular things there are things you might not like about the society about the culture and whatever just know that you are not alone there are people like you who are kicking against it who are fighting it who are praying against it so the best thing you can do is to be hopeful we have reasons why we decided to move here everybody has the reasons or everybody has reasons why they decided to move and leave their home country so but whatever it is just know that you're not alone but for whatever reason or whatever it might help a lot of people too do not like how things are going and that gives us hope that hopefully like you're not the only one even if your voice is not heard people that are like in higher authority and all that are probably talking about these things and we are just all hoping and praying that at the end of the day it will work in our favor so guys i've said all these things it now depends on you which part are you taking what do you think which parts do you believe would help you canada is still very good like guys don't be deceived it all depends on the way and how you choose to live and whatever you decide on believing on okay so thank you so much for coming to my ted talk today by god's grace this land will favor you in every every way I hope to see you come back to my channel for more videos on life in Canada and every other thing in between. I'll see you in subsequent videos. Bye!